Hello everyone. Today is Wednesday, January 25th, 2023. I'm David Delano, one of the writers and handicappers with Winners and Winers. Thanks for spending some time with me. This video is brought to you guys by No House Advantage, which is fantasy sports redefined. If you want to check out Best Bets Long Term Picks, there is a promo code in the description for 60% off. Also, make sure to subscribe to this channel if you have not already. That way you're notified anytime there's free content dropped by uh, Mason Foltz, myself, Scott Reichel, um, Loud Esman, Arthur Reyes. And you can also, on Winners and Winers, everything's documented, so you can check out our long-term records, who's hot long-term, short-term, and you can check it out by sport. Um, yesterday, we dropped both of our uh, plays, as we had in the video, we had over the total in the North Carolina-Syracuse game, because we had a, a cold spell especially by North Carolina, there for about a 10-minute stretch late in the second half. And then on premium side, we dropped the uh, over in the game with Ohio State and Illinois. Illinois just kept on uh, jacking up threes and were cold, and Ohio State had a very, very poor offensive outing. So um, dropped both plays yesterday. Uh, despite that, uh, for the season, we're 61% on 118 college basketball plays. We do have a best bet total going today. We're 69% on our last 48 totals. And I know, you know someone could be watching and say it's a small sample size. Um, overall on all picks, whether it's NFL, NBA, Major League Baseball, um, college basketball, college football, we are over 56% on our premium picks since joining winners and whiners on our last 689 plays. So let's get into the free pick today in the game between Evansville and Beaumont. Straight up Evansville, Purple Aces 4-17 and 17 straight up. Belmont is 15-6. Uh, and six. Right now I see Belmont's a 12-point favorite. There are some places, depending on your books, where you might only be able to get it at 12.5 or minus 13. So for the integrity of this video, and just depending on which book you have, we're going to go ahead, and I got it at 12. We're going to say Belmont minus 13 for the video. I think they should win this this game by at least uh, 17 points. Now, you've got a Evansville team, 1-7 against the number in their last eight. Belmont is 8-2 eight and two against the spread in their last 10. Now, out of those, out of that stretch of games where Evansville has not been covering. They have been had some games where they've really been getting blown out. They lost to Drake by 36 points. They lost to Bradley by 45 points. They lost to Missouri State by 23. They lost to uh, Murray State by 17. They lost to Indiana State by, by 28 points. Now, out of all of those teams that I mentioned, Belmont, who's 117th in the Ken Palm ratings, 72nd in offense, adjusted offensive efficiency, um, Belmont ranks higher than all of those teams in the Kempom rankings except for Bradley. Now, one thing to keep in mind, you know, weird things can happen. One thing, reason why it's not a best bet, I do think that um, Belmont probably crushes Evansville here. Uh, one thing, one of the games that Evansville has covered in recently was a 77-70 to 70 loss to Southern Illinois, who's just one spot higher than Belmont. They're 116th in the Kempom ratings. Now, the thing with that game, though, Southern Illinois led by double digits at halftime. Southern Illinois was in control of that entire game. Southern Illinois was up by 15 points with a 2 minutes and 45 seconds left, and then Evansville closed the game on a 14-6 to run to cover with some garbage time points. So, you know, there's always a chance things can happen. Nothing's 100% in sports betting. But overall, I mean, Evansville's been outplayed and dominated in a lot of these games. Unless Belmont takes their foot off the gas, they should get an easy, easy win here. Evansville, 349th overall in the Kim Palm rankings. 346th in adjusted offensive efficiency. 305th on the defensive end. So this should be a... Uh, yeah, I see this being a blowout. Like I said, once again, though, nothing's 100%. Back in 2019, Evansville beat then number one ranked Kentucky in the second game of the season. And Evansville went 0-18 in conference play that year. I just mentioned that just to let you remind you sports is weird. 
Why do I say that always, man? It, remember to manage your bankroll responsibly. But I do like uh, Belmont minus the uh, 12 and a half minus 13 here. So that's going to be a free play. Uh, appreciate the comments. Let me know what you guys are playing as always. Uh, one little piece of advice here just for sports betting. I would say a little exercise that you could do. Whatever sport it is, whatever game it is. You know, when you look at a pick a game for the day in advance, try to break it down and decide to try to pick the line and the total without looking at it, without looking at it first and then see how close you were. Um, after a while, you'll probably be pretty much close to spot on. And if you see a big discrepancy, look at it differently. Do you have an edge there? Is there something that you're missing? Is there an injury or something like that? Because I know sometimes you look at the lines right away, you could say, oh, that line looks too good to be true or whatnot. But good exercise to see, well, what would you set the line at, you know, before looking at it? So just something that you can practice there so you can work on doing this on your own. Whether you follow or fade this pick, it is all good. I appreciate you just spending some time with me. The play today is on Belmont to cover against Evansville. God bless and good luck.